Hello, it is Monday night. I just got back from working out, so I'm sweating. I'm gonna take a shower after filming this. <laughs> so I didn't film anything yesterday because I we, we were gonna do some organizing in our storage um, with my sewing group. No one ended up coming, so I was alone. But it's quite a cramped room, so I didn't want to have to put up my camera and risk damaging it or having it be in the way. And then last night I edited my previous vlog. So now I have a rough edit of that. So maybe I'll finish that tomorrow. Yesterday I also finished listening to Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa and I was not prepared for it to end like it did. I barely knew about the series. And I don't have the, well, none of the rest of the books have come out yet. But I really want to continue the series. It was really good. I give it four stars. I really, really enjoyed the book. I always enjoy fancy settings that are not just the regular western ones. So it was fun. Now I'm listening to Queen of the Tearlings, Tearling by Erika Johansson. And I had no idea what this book about, was about going into it. I just heard people talk about it on booktube and it apparently is quite good. So I wanted to listen to it and I am enjoying it so far. I wasn't, like I said, sure what it was about, but it turned out to be very quite good. I'm quite far into it, I think. Yeah, I have about three hours left, maybe. Two and a half, three hours of this book. And this one I do have. The two sequels on audiobook so if i really like this one i can continue the series today at work i realized i'd take my contacts out because my eyes were itching and uh, and just watering like crazy and i i thought it was i was being clever when i put this pair of contacts in and i wrote it on my calendar but for some reason i i messed up and so the notification on my phone only stays until until the event is over and so apparently I put it for 3 to 3 or 5 in the morning and the notification I'm not even sure when like the day before or something so I just haven't, hadn't seen it but now I put a notification for an entire day and it's supposed to show up a day ahead so I should have a notification for two days so I'm gonna shower take my contacts out I'm thinking of dyeing my hair but that might be late tomorrow sewing as usual work as usual. I also have only like 15 pages or something left of Frostblood and, I, and the ending is actually kind of fun so now I'm super conflicted on this book. I really can't make up my mind. Mm, I'm just gonna finish it and see what happens. So yeah that is what's been going on. I forgot to say today when I got home from work I... wait where did the story start? Yesterday after after sewing slash organizing, me and my partner went to my partner's parents' house for dinner and his mother had sorted out some clothing from her wardrobe, so I picked up two shirts and a dress and a skirt from her and I remade the dress into a skirt and I remade the skirt into a shorter skirt and uh, yeah, that I did that when I got home. It was just quick fixes and I tried on the shirts and they actually fit really well, so I'm happy with that. That's what I was gonna say, I did some sewing. And uh, yeah. Hi, uh, it is Friday afternoon. I haven't filmed in a couple of days. Um, so Tuesday I had work and sewing as usual. I didn't film anything. And then Wednesday I was home sick, sick and was in bed and on the couch all day just freezing. And I didn't really have the energy to do anything. And then Thursday I had work and then, excuse you work and then a manuscript meeting and then um, a sewing meeting and I also found out that they were recording a few clips for the theater <clears throat> we have like an introductory film before the show and that was supposed to be recorded tomorrow which no one had told me until yesterday so I had to finish a pair of pants that were far from being finished last night alone so I was stressing about that so today I felt sick again so i decided to stay home again which is a shame i have a bit more energy though so i've been editing a video this morning it just takes a lot of time i'm not finished yet but i took a break and i'm also watching uh, miss fisher's murder mysteries 
I finished season 2 on Wednesday and I was starting season 3 and I still really enjoy it. I do think some of the characters, uh, characters arcs or like personalities are a little bit inconsistent but I really enjoy the overall story and feel and just it's very entertaining. If I had the energy and if I can like shower and put on some real clothes I might record one or two videos today. At least start two videos. Because I have one I can do in one day I think. And then one I want to do the try a chapter tag, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna, if I do the one, do it as in trying five chapters and then finishing the book that I choose to finish, then it takes more than a day. But maybe I can finish it next week. But if I, if I just do the try a chapter and read first chapter five books and decide on a book to continue, then I could film it in one day. Cause I'm a little bit stressed about this as well, and this is why I was so stressed last night when I I planned to go home like kind of early. I ended up stuck at sewing um, until I think I was home at like 11 at night, which is not the latest I've been, but the previous times I've been late, it's been me and uh, some other people uh, just sitting around actually having fun until like 11. <laughs> but now I was I was alone for the last like hour and a half I think, and I was just. Ugh, it was awful. And then the other video I want to record is the uh, playlist book tag. And I think I could do that in one day. I just need to prepare. And like I said, shower and change my clothes. That is probably the plan. I ended up stressed, I, I was saying, I ended up stressed about my videos as well. Because I pre-recorded like five videos a couple of weeks ago. Well, like five weeks ago, maybe. Not really, a while ago. And uh, I didn't really think about it, but those that last video goes up tomorrow, on Saturday. And for next weekend, and the entire week after that, we have a lot of rehearsals and preparations and the premiere. And we have five shows, and so preparing and filming videos that week will not be possible because I will already be going early from work to get there and unless I film there with another hundred people running around in the building it might not work out that well. I might be able to edit some but I'm gonna try to film this week and then edit next week I think. Because I also have this vlog going up that week because this vlog is this week and next week so it goes up on Thursday the week after so yeah I did not think this through. Not the brightest am I? So we'll see if I maybe eat something. I've been I've been sick. I'm I'm feeling ill. So so I haven't really wanted to eat because my stomach is in uproar. But I maybe I have to eat. I'm actually getting hungry now. I haven't been hungry for like two days. So maybe I have to eat.
Hello. Uh, so it is Sunday afternoon. I have been sewing and all of that jazz. And I also went to pick up two pieces of furniture that I found second hand. It's a tiny bureau on wheels with like six drawers that I thought I would put my sewing supplies in. It's like on wheels and really small so I can wheel it around. And the second one is a real bureau but we're now using it as a TV uh, stand. So it looks like that. So we have TV on it and then it shows above and now it's all black and nice. And we put all our films down there as well as our gaming consoles. And in here we have our games and I have my CDs. Everything that previously was over here, we haven't really seen very much of it. Uh, and so we moved all our games. Our games used to be in just this shelf as well as up here. But now I've extended to be here as well. Because it was getting quite full everywhere. So that's what I've been doing today. And now in a little while when we clean up the table, I'm gonna go through my sewing supplies and actually put them in the new boxes and the drawers. And I think it's gonna be amazing. I also went sewing today as usual, but we were like two people and when the other one left I decided to cut it short because there's not that much left to do, but it's also really boring being there by myself. So I thought I could just as well do it on Thursday. Tuesday. I know what day it is today. Yeah, so that is what I've been doing today. Yesterday we had like a sort of like a birthday celebration. So for Christmas, me and my partner gave my sister and her partner that we invited them to go to a sk an escape room that recently opened in Umeå. And for birthday, we gave the same thing to our brother. And so we went, the five of us, to an escape room yesterday. I filmed some of that and also had dinner, played some games, had some fruit salad and it was really fun. That's what we've been doing. Here is my finished storage. I have one large jar of black uh, buttons because they didn't fit and this is my regular sewing supplies. Uh, like my tape measure and tiny scissor and needles and that kind of stuff. And then in here in the first drawer I have threads and extra like scissors and ne needles, uh, bobbins and uh, just little clamps and then whoop it's trying to get away from me next box i have buttons a plenty not really optimal storage um oh sorry uh, i have these round uh, uh, boxes but it's fine for now and then in the next one i also have buttons 
uh, in a different type of storage, as well as some beads that ended up here for some reason. And in the next one I have uh, elastic and, um, zippers. And then next to last I have fabric paints and uh, uh, like silk ribbons and that kind of stuff. And at the very bottom I have patterns. So now I have all my sewing supplies in one area. So tonight, Sunday night, me and my partner finished watching Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries and I cried. I was so not prepared for it to be the last episode and I'm so sad there's nothing more. But it was a very good series and I could probably rewatch it again. And I will need something else to watch if I feel like watching something. It was such a good series. There is apparently like a newer series, like Miss Fisher's Modern Murder Mysteries, I think. But it's a completely new cast and everything is about... And I think Miss Fisher has gone missing, the premise was, and then they're looking for her. Um, but I wasn't really interested in that because I, I really like the original characters. I will most definitely rewatch it in the future. I loved it so much. And uh, yeah. I haven't really done anything else tonight. Um, we've just been watching TV. Had dinner in front of the TV and yeah. Tomorrow it's work as usual. And then after work I have a production meeting for the theater. Just a week and a half left to premiere. And then I'm working out at night. So that is the plan for that. So I probably won't be filming that much tomorrow. I will try if I have time to edit and finish the try a chapter book tag so I can edit that as well and yeah that is the plan for tomorrow so yeah good night hello I haven't vlogged in a while because I've been really kind of busy it is Wednesday night I was gonna work out tonight but I also have to bake three cakes I have to edit two videos finish one of those videos so I can edit it I need to shower and I, I feel like I have too much to do, so I I cancelled my training, and so I also fell asleep on the couch. So it's now like 7 at night, I think, almost, 20 to 7. And I just wanted to update you. I wanted to update you on what I've been reading, because I feel like I haven't done that in a while. And I am reading uh, The Conjurer's Riddle. I don't have it here, but yeah. And I'm really excited. I'm actually really, really enjoying it. And I'm, I really want the third book so I can finish the series. I am very excited. I think I need to order it soon so I can read it. I am listening to... Um, oh, I was gonna say about the Conjures Riddle. There is a scene that I, I, I really, really don't like uh, with the main character and one of the guys in the love triangle. But... Yeah, I I don't remember enough about the book to remember if it serves a narrative purpose later, but it's just I came to that scene and I, I remember what happened last time and I was like, no, it's just, it's bad. I really don't like it. I'm listening to The Invasion of the Tearling by Erika Johansson and I really, really like this book as well. I think it's really good. And I did not expect the book to go where it went when I started the series. And I'm really excited to get through these last two books as well. I've been listening to more audiobooks today than I have uh, in previous, like, the last week or so. Because I was just really excited to get through the book. Uh, I don't have very much left, I think. Without spoilers, you follow, like, two different perspectives and one of those is uh, the queen, the same person you follow in the first book and the other one is a completely different person and I really enjoyed that perspective, I think it's so interesting uh, what's going on there and everything and I really 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 enjoy it that is what's been happening and now I need to go do some baking because I need to do it for tomorrow I really love to bake, I just right now it kind of feels like a chore but I also really want this. Oh, it's completely my fault that I'm doing it. I chose to do it and it's making my ma making me stressed. So I don't really have anyone, anyone else to blame. So that's what I'm gonna do now.
Hi, I just filmed the video, which is why I have the camera set up here. But I thought I'd finish my reading vlog today, so I can make my next reading vlog more about the theater and such, because that starts like for reals tomorrow. So I finished The Invasion of the Tierling today. It was a really good book. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the dual perspectives, and I would, I hope that continues in the next book as well. I have just about started the third book in the series, the conclusion, I think. And then I'm also almost really, really close to being done with The Conjurer's Riddle by Andrea Kramer. And I remember how this book's book ends, and I remember really wanting to read the sequel right away last time, and I'm getting that feeling back now. I just really want the next book, but I, I can't find it in stores, so I have to order it, and I am not sure if I should do it now or if I should wait, because I really want to finish the series. Because it's so good. I, it's really annoying, the love triangle. <laughs> I think it's... Mm, I know who I'm rooting for. So yeah, I just really want to finish this series this time. Because it's so good. I really like how it's written. And I really like the main character. And I like how in this second book, the main character, Charlotte, uh, is getting doubts and having second thoughts about the resistance that she's grown up into. And I really enjoy that, and I just think it's a really good book, and I really want to read the next one! Ah! That's what I've been reading. So, yesterday I didn't film anything, but I had sewing, as usual. Uh, and before that we had Swedish Fika. And so I was begging for that, so yesterday we did that, and it was fun, it was very, very cozy, as usual. And then we sewed, and we're getting really close to done. I, I feel like I have no energy left for for the theater, but it's just a week left, so I have to just pull through. And it's gonna be so much fun, I know that. So I'm really excited. And tonight, I don't really have plans, I think. I'm just gonna be home. We'll see what I'm gonna do. But this is the end of this reading vlog, and I will see you in my next one. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and all that. And uh, yeah. <laughs>